It's a Hindu festival of purification, but the colour and splendour hide a grim custom which is robbing children of their innocence and their freedom. During the celebration of Maghi in Dang district in western Nepal, girls as young as six years old are sold into bonded slavery. They are known as Kamalaris. Officially, it is illegal, but this has been a practice of the Tharu community for hundreds of years, and it's now part of local custom. During Maghi, drinking and you know putting the price for the child. Just imagine if your daughter is in that situation, or our my daughter. You know, it's very you know inhuman, and Tharus are very innocent. You know, and they just do with middlemen. They trust people who come and say, and they just blindly give their kid away. Poor parents make just 15 or 20 dollars selling their daughters into bonded labor for a year. The girls are supposed to be able to choose at the festival whether to continue their employment. In reality, few get that choice. They have to continue working. Tabu was eight years old when she was sold to work as a domestic helper. Her typical day began at 6 a.m. and lasted for 16 hours. I used to wake up, clean the house, wash clothes, cook food and prepare tea for my owner. I also had to do the dishes. What to do? We had our problems. I used to feel bad sending her to work, but on the other hand, I thought she would also earn some money and we were hardly making enough to survive. Tabu was freed by a Nepalese charity, Friends of Needy Children, which has rescued nearly 3,000 girls from slavery. They give livestock to the parents and an education to the girls. It's a positive step, but hardly scratches the surface of the problem. These children are fortunate because they've been rescued, but for thousands more, the ordeal is continuing. And for some, it can lead to even more than just hard labor. Nima is 15, pretty and valuable. She was sold as a house help, but ended up in a brothel across the border in India, an experience she is too embarrassed to discuss openly. I do feel sad. Sometimes it hurts so much that I cannot forget. Sometimes I start crying when I recall those moments. I wish none of my sisters has to go through the ordeal that I went through. For some, there is no escape. They spend their entire lives in bonded slavery, and some simply disappear. Quite a few of their uh, families came to search for their kids through media. Um, they said, like, my girl, my daughter was taken 30 years ago and I don't know whereabouts. Some former Kamalaris have received compensation from the government for their ordeal, but in reality there is little that can be done to take away the hardship and the suffering that blights the poor. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Dang Province, Southern Nepal.